Hey everyone, a uh, slightly different kind of video today. I wanted to cover a new product I've picked up, or at least a new to me product. Uh, this is a new Canon lens to replace a damaged lens I was using before. And I wanted to review this sort of unboxing process because I got this lens as a refurbished unit through a process known as Amazon Renewed, which is Amazon's way of selling you know, used and refurbished goods. So I figured I'd take you along the process of seeing what you get in the box. So first things first, why to get a new lens? Well, this is my 18 135 EFS lens. It's a pretty inexpensive lens I picked up used for about 100 bucks. Uh, it's been kind of my workhorse lens because that wide range gives me a lot of usability from pretty tight situations to decently far away ones. Unfortunately, at a recent drift event, I had the camera on a tripod and a strong breeze ended up picking up uh, the camera and basically fell lens first in the, you know, obviously the lens just took the brunt of the fall. And it still can produce okay images, you know, the sensor on the Canon will try and focus through it, but it does create a lot of unintentional and undesired softness in the image, especially around the edges. So I knew its days were numbered. I wanted to upgrade as well because I wanted a bit more reach. That 135 is pretty good. In the real world, that's a pretty useful lens. But especially for being at the racetrack where oftentimes the camera is maybe a couple hundred feet away from the subject of the car, I wanted a bit more reach. So after a bit of research, I picked up this guy. This is a Canon 55-250. Uh, it bridges the gap from a zoom lens to a full-on telephoto. You know, this will be considered an entry-level telephoto lens. And pulling up Amazon right now, these guys go for $269.99. Now I should clarify that this is the newer EFS lens with the STM, the stepping motor technology. There are older versions of this lens out, like many Canon lenses, but I wanted the stepping motor, the latest version, just for video purposes. You know, that stepping motor just makes the video action so much smoother. And with that $207 price tag, honestly, for the investment I put in these videos and what I get in return, that just seemed like a lot of money. You know, especially with the risk there again of, you know, I work in motorsports, work on cars, things do get damaged. That is when I found the Amazon Renewed um, system, that's you know, Amazon's pre-owned. They have this lens available right now for $159, and the reviews overall are pretty positive, though there are a few negatives listed, which kind of goes with anything you're buying. So I figured I'd buy this lens, see how it goes, and show you guys. So this is the lens, it comes in an official Canon box because this is effectively a refurbished lens direct from Canon. This looks like exactly what you get. You went to Canon and bought a new lens. Uh, for clarification, it does come in a padded envelope like this. And like all Amazon things, it's packaged pretty well. So let's just, let's bust this guy open and see what we got. So again, this, my first time doing this right now. Wow. Yeah, uh, this is packaged just like a new lens would be. And here we go. Now first thing I'm gonna do is verify it's the correct lens, EFS. STM has the stepping motor technology. So I did in fact receive the correct lens. And since I'm really stupid and like big visual displays of what it is, this is at 55 millimeters and fully zoomed in. That's 250. Now, as this is a used lens, I'm looking for scratches in the glass or any sort of imperfections. And I do see some very faint scratches on the glass. I mean, I'm looking really close. I don't think there's anything that'll affect the performance of the lens. We'll obviously test that in a second. But things looking good on the glass side. 
and on the sensor side for the camera. Things again are looking good. Uh, looking deep in there, that looks at, it looks like new. Uh, all the contacts look perfect. This lens is extremely clean. Uh, I'm assuming Canon obviously does the refurbishment. It looks just like a brand new lens. Everything feels really good. All the buttons work appropriately. Um, really pleased with how this thing looks for, I mean, what is that, 60% of the cost of new? Though, let's see how it works in a practical application. All right guys, so I've switched from my Canon 1018 ultra wide lens, which I like to use for these sort of up close shots talking to the camera, and I switched over to the 55-250. I've not changed the settings on the camera at all since uh, I'm at, let's see, my room is quite dark here, my living room is quite dark here, so ISO 800, f-stop 4.5, and shutter speed is 30. And the lens seems to focus nice when I pull the trigger. And for perspective, my refrigerator that I'm looking at, I'm standing 10 feet away from it right now. And it's that close at 55. Now if I swing this boy all the way to 250, it's probably gonna have trouble focusing just because the room is so dark. Oh, there you go, I did focus. That's honestly amazing. Uh, it's gone way deep in there. I mean, I've never seen a lens, nothing I've shot with previously has been able to get this tight on something that specific and that small. Again, this is a pretty dark room and it's focusing quite nicely. So you can imagine that during the day, especially in the daylight, this lens would ostensibly work just like brand new. There, focus is great. No issues at all with the refurbished lens from Amazon. Oh, hi there. So I have the 55 to 50 still on the camera. I have the autofocusing on and just playing around. I'm watching the tracking and that STM lens is definitely paying dividends. I mean, I'm actually watching the tracking. It's so smooth and so fast. And you, at least in that screen, you don't appear to be losing me at all, even though I'm way too close to what this lens actually wants. Uh, look at that, that's actually great, that tracking looks really good. Hope it looks just as good on the big screen. I'll confirm that in the edit. But um, for perspective, I am standing about four feet away from the actual face of the lens. It's all the way pulled back at 55 millimeters, uh, nice and tight, nice and clear. And again, this room is pretty dark, especially for this lens, uh, which is shooting at, what is that? 4.5 f-stop. And it's crystal clear. It looks really nice and it performs Ostensibly, just like new. Man, it's so fun to play with the tracking. Look at that. That's actually really good. I can see the lens adjusting tiny bits to compensate for my stupid face. Hang on a second. Wow, look at that. So I am back on the Canon 1018 Ultra Wide. I've not changed the position of the camera or any of the settings. And that's just, again, a reference of how zoomed in that 55 to 250 can go, especially on a crop sensor camera like my T4i uh, compared to this ultra wide. So I'm just gonna wrap up the video there. Honestly, I'm super pleased. This guy right here, I'm sorry, I'm not looking at the extra screen, I'm looking at the uh, little display over here. It's fun watching the tracking because I can actually see that these are both STM lenses. So they're pretty good lenses. Now they're not L glass or anything. They're pretty solid. And honestly, at that distance, the ultra wide is not the perfect uh, application here. But this 55 250 is nice and fast, nice and smooth. Um, the colors look great. And for what is it? $159. That's what 60% of the cost of new. This lens is perfectly clean, perfect condition, well packaged and performs just like a new lens. So if you're curious whether or not you should buy a refurbished lens through the Amazon Renewed service or from Canon, there's your answer. It's totally worth the money. All right, and that's all I got for this video. Thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you found this helpful or useful in some way. I'm not really used to reviewing lenses and services like Amazon Renewed. Obviously I'm used to playing around with cars, so if this video is missing things or there are elements you'd like to see me include in future product reviews, please let me know because I find this very interesting. It's fun to talk about things that aren't cars for once, though 
this latest, greatest little toilet that will be used in future car videos. So stay tuned for that. Thank you very much, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.